always question. No member of parliament opposed the passing of these four bills today, not even the lone opposition member, Medang Governor Jim Cass, who was obviously outnumbered. The House voted 91 to nil for both the District Development Authority and Independent Commission Against Corruption bills. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill said the District Development Authority bill was made in the best interest of the people in terms of service delivery. Mr. O'Neill said that a commissioner and two deputy commissioners will be appointed to run the affairs of the ICAC. He said his government is serious about combating corruption in the country and this commission will do just that. 92 MPs voted for the dual citizenship bill, nil against. However, prior to passing the dual citizenship bill, members of parliament questioned the acting foreign affairs minister and minister for justice and attorney general Karen Gakua on its provisions. They said strict provisions should be in place so that PNG does not open the floodgates to foreigners. State Enterprise Minister Ben Micah argued that those applying to be PNG citizens must not contest or hold public offices. ICP Governor Grand Chief Sir Michael Somare asked for leniency on missionaries, whilst Kundiawa Gembog MP Tobias Kulang urged the national government to empower and support more Papua New Guineans to venture into business and land development rather than giving more rights and privileges to foreigners under this bill. Minister Kua promised the members that strict provisions were in place, saying PNG will only partner with countries that are willing to allow Papua New Guineans to become citizens in their countries. Public Service Minister Sir Puka Temu's constitutional amendment to the appointment of certain officers law 2013 also got the backing of the 92 MPs present in the House today. This law will select and recommend departmental heads through merit-based selections. It also gives more power to the provincial administrators to run the affairs of their provinces and districts. Bernadette Effie, National MTV News. Port Mosby. There's also a few facilities at Port Mosby General Hospital, as you know.